Yeah, once again, welcome to another edition of today's lesson. And our lesson for today is going to be centered on emotional or psychological changes in adolescence. In our previous lesson, we have spoken a lot about physical changes that boys and girls go through or undergo when they reach their puberty stage. A lot was said about boys. Many points were also raised about what the girls also go through during their adolescent stage, some of which included development of bigger breasts, and then the onset or beginning of ovulation and menstruation, and then growing in height and weight, and then also developing wider hips and narrow waist, and so on and so forth. Today, our topic for or our continued topic for young people and then nation building is also on emotional or psychological changes emotional or psychological changes and all emo emotional and psychological change means is that it's also centered on the way one feels or think the feeling and then thinking of the young person and this is what we are going to talk about as one of the changes that also are very common with the adolescent boys and girls. So we define it as a change in adolescence, which simply means the thinking and then feeling of the young person. And this thinking and then feeling of the young person simply involves the way one behaves. So this is simply behavioral, attitudinal or attitude, the way one behaves towards one another when he or she reach puberty or adolescence. Some of the emotional or psychological things we see in adolescents include one, becoming easily irritated. Yes, boys and girls when they reach adolescence are easily irritated. That is, just a little time they tend to lose their temper, they become angry because of certain physical changes they see in their, their stage. And then secondly, they also entertain fears and then worries. They mostly are afraid of certain things that they come across or meet. And then they are always also worried because of certain growth or certain changes that they see. The third one I'll talk about is they feel or get attracted to the opposite sex. Yeah, this is where boys and girls begin to attach a little bit of uh, romance or romantic issues to their play. They get attracted to the opposite sex. Opposite sex here means a boy getting a feeling for a girl and then a girl also getting a feeling for a boy. They are opposite in nature. A boy is, is opposite to a girl. So one gets the feeling for each other. They attach a lot of romance or some romance to how they behave. Four, they also mostly feel shy. Yes, they are shy because they think they have gotten to a stage or reach a stage where certain things were not very normal to them. So they are mostly or sometimes shy of certain situations that they go through or come their way. And then the fifth point is that they are highly adventurous. Yes, adventurous. They always want to try new things. They also want. They always want to uh, discover other parts of the world, try new ideas, and so on and so forth. It is one of the ways adolescents behave when they reach their stage. The sixth one I also talk about is that they have mood swings, and all that mood swings means is that they have change in character. They become happy at a given point in time or sad. At another point in time, they are what we call the mood swings, change of character, change of behavior, becoming sad at a point and then becoming happy at another point in time. And then the seventh one is they go through unexplainable excitement, yes, because of adventurosity, because of they are highly adventurous, they, they go through a lot of unexplainable excitement. They mostly like to have fun. They always want to move out with peers and then friends to have fun, to have entertainment and so on and so forth. So 
with all these changes that we see the boys and girls going through it is advisable to also make them aware that this emotional and psychological changes in adolescence usually affect their behavior these changes that we say they go through tend to affect their behavior and some of the behaviors that I will cite as an example is that they feel more grown-ups than they are they see themselves as grown-ups sometimes they see themselves as equal as their parents or teachers or other elderly persons in their communities in which they, they live so they tend to feel more grown-ups than they are and so some of their behaviors often lead to conflict Yes, conflict is simply a disagreement between one or two people or two or more people which does not lead to a consensus. So, so far as or the moment two or more people tend to disagree, we say conflict has taken place. So once they see themselves growing up than the normal growth, they tend to engage in a lot of conflict between their parents their teachers in their classrooms and their schools and then the other adults that they meet in the community. Above all, adolescents need to be aware of certain misleading myths. There are a lot of myths out there or there are a lot of misleading stories we call myths. And myths are simply stories that tend to be true but may be untrue. If stories or statements uh, 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 proven to one that they are true sometimes such stories may also tend to go on true and these are what we call myth stories that may be thought to be true but may be untrue that is what we call myth so there are certain misleading myths about adolescents and some of these myths that we are talking about they, some of these stories we are talking about that may seem to be true but may be untrue to adolescents include one menstruation is abnormal there is a myth that when one menstruates, a menstruation is simply the flow of blood from a woman. And the first time he or she encounters it is what we call a match or a manner, as may be said or written by both books. And menstruation is normal. You and I know that it is very normal for every growing girl to menstruate. And that is what makes it possible for pregnancy to occur so menstruation is normal but there are many there are stories out there who say that it is not normal for a growing lady or a growing girl to menstruate so that is one of the myths another myth that we can also talk about is that we say that adolescents need to have sex to stop menstrual pains sometimes when one uh, enters this or a menage or mena she sometimes or begins to feel certain pains which of course may be deemed to be abnormal these things are all normal with ladies it, it is part of how they were created so there are stories out there that also say that if you are an adolescent and then you menstruate before you can do away with certain pains that you are going through you need, you need to have sex to stop it and these are all not true and that is why we call them myths. the third one which is very common with meals is that wet dreams are caused by evil spirits wet dreams sometimes you go to your bed you go to your mat to sleep and then by the time you wake up you see you are wet it's not about you uh, wetting your mat or your bed but you have a discharge of spams and what some or some school of thought say that it is caused by evil spirit but these things are normal to every growing boy or every growing gentleman the last but not the least myth i also include as also a misleading story to adolescents is that hiv or AIDS is cured by having sex with virgins if you have hiv or AIDS, all you need to do is to have sex with a virgin and then you are through these are all not stories that are true they are misleading which must not be adhered to it must not be listened to so as adolescents once you enter your stage there are a lot of things that you must listen or learn from your parents or other elderly people in the community or certain counselors and then teachers that we, we encounter ourselves with. if you go through any difficulty in your stage 
all you need to do is to go closer and then explain certain things to them and you'll be counseled you'll be advised so that the right things will be done this is where time will permit us to draw the curtain down on today's lesson i'll be happy to see you again in our next lesson thank you for cooperating with me and i still remain your awoke facilitator mr Hibbert party